Last year, a spasm of left-wing outrage led to plastic straw bans across the country. They were worse than dangerous. They were unfashionable. But what about plastic bags? In a recent interview, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez complained that she gets too many plastic bags and then has to throw them away. I can be upset that I get 10 plastic bags at the grocery store and then have to toss out my plastic bags because the recycling program in the area is tough, and that's okay. Mm. That's tough. Clearly, we need aggressive state intervention. The state of Washington just approved a bill that would ban all single-use plastic bags statewide. Rhode Island is considering the same thing because they don't have enough problems to deal with. And Connecticut, which is literally failing, that state wants a 10-cent bag tax to fix the budget deficit. Soon your bundle of plastic bags under the sink could be contraband, as illegal as fentanyl or a box of straws. Author and columnist and plastic straw dissident Mark Stein joins us tonight. Any plastic bags under your sink? Uh, yeah, there are, actually. Uh, I, I, I'm impressed by Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Uh, <laughs> I am too, in a way. Because things that uh, Democrats now, they never heard, of, for example, her big thing of bovine flatulence uh, that uh, they, Democrats had never heard of until a couple of weeks ago. Now it ranks higher th than the economy or Obamacare. Uh, they feel the way about a flatulent Holstein uh, destroying the planet the way they felt about Reagan having nukes uh, 35 <laughs> years ago. And, and, and that's impressive for her, to, for her to do that. I mean, obviously, in a certain sense, this is a boutique issue. Uh, we will be arguing about plastic bags at the time Kim Jong-un decides to drop the big one on Cleveland, and we will look ridiculous. But, uh, but what's oddly revealing about this is that I think... Uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez comes across as strangely unwoke in this soundbite. Huh. Um, you know, I don't, I don't do a lot of grocery shopping. I usually send my uh, undocumented Honduran manservant that I keep under the stairs to do it. But when I am in the grocery <laughs> store, I know, a, I know enough to know that, uh, th that you're always standing behind some well-meaning liberal progressive who eschews all the plastic bags and produces some smelly disgusting uh, permanent bag that she's been carrying around from price chopper to price chopper for the last four years and has the food put in that. There wait, is wait, no do you, you, mean, you mean the NPR tote bag? Yeah, that is that 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 is. I believe it's the it's either the uh, the Charlie Rose tote bag or the Garrison <laughs> Keeler tote bag. I don't know which one what it is. They've been me tooed, but no one's me tooed their tote bags. They're still good <laughs> for the fundraisers. So you you take they take they take out the uh, NPR tote bag and they have all the groceries dropped in it, and they don't have to have the plastic bags. There's no reason for this problem. She sounds as out of it as that famous clip of. Uh, uh, the first President Bush marveling at the grocery scanner, uh, which, which, was a, which was misrepresented anyway. But in this case, uh, she sounds weirdly unwoke. Where is Alexandria's Charlie Rose tote bag? That's what we want to know. I think she thinks that Charlie Rose is a tool of the establishment, probably. Mm. I, I bet if you were to x-ray her thoughts, she would be very, very anti-Charlie Rose. Um, but that's a really no, good no, point. And next time I see AOC at, at Whole Foods, I'll, I will encourage her to get the tote bag. Mark Stein, great yeah. to see you. Thanks a lot, Tucker. Thanks, Mark.